I want to introduce you to a, an acronym. It's MAPS. It, it stands for four words, manuscripts, um, archaeology, prophecy, and science. And based on those four uh, words, we are going to do an exploration of why we have such confidence in this book that we base our lives on. And so today we're just going to look at the manuscripts and we're going to look at archaeology. And, uh, and then next we'll cover those issues of prophecy and science. Let's begin with manuscripts. First of all, manuscripts are just documents. Uh, the word manu comes from manual. It's, it's by hand. And that's what that word means. So a manuscript means something written by hand. Now, n there are virtually no original autographs of anything. The original autograph was the, the document that Moses actually wrote. We don't have that document. We don't have the documents of the prophets, the actual autographs that they wrote. We don't have the original autographs that the New Testament writers actually wrote. What we have are copies. And this is very common. In fact, uh, all the writings of Aristotle and Plato, uh, Homer's Iliad, all these things that we look back on, and we've studied some of those in school or college, all those documents that we, that we look at, we don't have the original autographs. That's what they're referred to as autographs when they're the actual original document. What we have are copies. And so there's, there's several things that we test and investigate a document to determine if it's accurate to the original autograph. And so those three tests were not developed by Christians, by the way. They were developed by people that, that study literature of all kinds, historic literature, scientific literature, and, and they test these documents based on these three tests. And so I'm going to share what these three tests are, and then we're going to test the Bible using these three tests.